Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Eddie Marcus again, spokesman and advocate of basic human rights <laughs> for all people. Just to say that sometimes it's just amazing to have the wherewithal to say that and know you mean it and know that it's really appreciated and at the same time not appreciated. Appreciated in that people want people to care but uh, not appreciated when caring requires something of the one that's being cared for. <clears throat> the question, why isn't Donald Trump in jail? I'm sure that question is on basically everybody's mind. Well, <clears throat> if you have given it some thought, you probably have answered the question many times yourselves. You know, there's a time when... Uh, See if I can give you a little scenario to help you understand this. There are many guys who couldn't talk to girls. They have a problem. And there were guys who had no problem. They could walk up to a girl and just as easy as breathing and make comments, talk, make conversation, go out on a date, and and, and do all the things you can imagine. And why was that possible? Because, first of all, the guy was bold enough to take the chance, to dare, bold enough, wanted to, and did. The guy that wanted to but had no boldness, no daring, was just wondering what happened. You see, the truth of the matter is, what you want to do is the same thing that most people want to do. You can't get everybody, but you'd be surprised if you're bold enough, daring enough to step out. You might find out that you can walk on water. Now, what am I saying? Donald Trump is an evil man like all of us. None of us escape it. But he's bold than most of us. And at the same time, he's not the boldest, and he's not alone. In fact, if you really want to know the truth, the world is shaped by people who were bold enough to go beyond the truth. They exploit. Doesn't mean that the truth wouldn't take you where you want to go. In fact, it'll take you there and protect you. But in the process you find that like I said there are those who are bold enough to want it themselves and so they will do what is required they will take that daring step you know they'll walk up to an honest man and tell him a lie and deceive that man and take advantage of them that's what some boldness will do they're the ones that you won't even see coming they'll trick you sometimes they're like a, a spouse you think you love, they love you, and you love them, only to find out, uh-huh. <laughs> well, see, these are the kind of things that happen in life. Now, here's Donald Trump. Donald Trump, his father, as a message goes, I don't know if it's true or not, but they say that his father treated him like a, he was a pet. <laughs> you know, real nice, as far as being, giving him stuff that he, you know how your parents are, you give them everything they want. And Donald Trump received it in a different way, perhaps, than some of his siblings. I don't know. But what he does, he stands up and bold. He has learned that most people are just, or successful people, are just as crooked as he is. They've gotten away with it, and he has gotten away with it. Now he's in a position of power that many of them are not in. But he wants to show them that he's on their dream team. First of all, he got a group of people out here that he calls stupid and dumb. He'll tell them anything and they'll take it and accept it. Because many of them are just like him or want to be like him. So he got that following. But now he takes the system and he exploits the system just like he exploits the people. Take advantage of the people. Now he takes advantage of the, the systems and the, the departments of the system because he knows that the, the department is no better than the people that's in it, the people that's running it. 
And to him, everybody's crooked. So you just try them, and you'll be surprised how many people will go along with crookedness. And so that's how he weaponized the, whatever he wants to weaponize, take advantage of whatever he wants to take advantage of, and then throw it to the public as the others are doing it. And the public's just as vulnerable. They'll believe anything you're bold enough to say. To say. Not everybody, but many of them will. You're bold enough to say it, they'll go along with it. So what he does, he goes in, he gets the taxes, and he gives all of these people who are at the top, tax breaks, all kinds of money coming in, thanking them for, for accepting him as one of the team, using the people, keep them divided. Antifa, nationalists, white supremacy, all of that. Keep it divided. We don't have nothing to worry about that because they're out there fighting amongst themselves with their lies. We've told them this is what the power that be says. And now we're up here having a ball. And not just a ball with CEOs and stuff of this country, but everywhere else too. You know, kind of interconnected. Everybody got a little scheme going on. Because this democracy stuff, we're going to end that. Why? Because some of us are bold enough, they say, to kill and take it. And these people don't want to die. They don't realize what we can do and what they can't stop. So it goes on like that, ladies and gentlemen. So why is he still out of, and not in jail? <laughs> because he's connected. He is connected. These guys who received all these breaks from Donald Trump just can't just turn their back on him and walk out there. You know, they don't know what Donald Trump knows. Well, don't let me say that. He, this weird, this is weird stuff here. I'm going to leave that to your imagination. But what goes on is that he's still out. And all of those who he has control over, they are fine with his being out. They're trying to clear the slate, make everybody else be wrong, and he was the one that's right. And um, the world goes on to hell. <laughs> like Putin killing nations and people, just, just wiping them out because he can. And the rest of the world can't say a thing about it. Why? Because they are no different than Putin. They're just waiting till their time comes. Their time is not there yet. But when it comes, they'll do the same identical stuff. And ladies and gentlemen, this is why the power that you can't see uses a person like me because that power has been miraculous in my life. And I'm bold enough to stand before you and tell you that the people of the world are being screwed. They're being abused. They're being exploited. All of the pain and suffering that goes on in this world is a result of all of us. Those who are doing exploiting and those who are receiving it. And we can stop it any time we want to, if we wake up. I don't know what woke me, but I know if we wake up and realize that you can, when you go to the doctor, you don't just go to the doctor to take pills. You want to get cured. And if you can get cured, that's what you'll take. And this hell that we're in right now, we can cure ourselves from it. But we got to believe in God. You, you might not want to call it God. You call it whatever you want to. But he's not you. And it's good. And it's kind. And it's loving. And it's compassionate. And it's peaceful and prosperous and joyous and happy. And your dreams come true in it. You don't have to worry about food, clothes, shelter, education, health care, anything that man make. Because it all belongs to you, the people. By a gift from the God who put you together to be this kind of people. And you fought off the lie. You fought off the deception. You fought off the racism and the bigotry. This is what the challenge is. This is what the call is. I'm saying it. I said it two or three times yesterday. Probably posted it. And it's still not enough. Because today we're going to go be going through the same hell we went through yesterday. And looking for new hells to go through. 